Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. And right now it's time for our next hot topic. So we're talking about navigating the dollar inflation with the right software for your business. And joining us um, to have a conversation on this is Kende Ogundari. He's a country manager, Zoho, Nigeria. Good morning, Kende. Lovely morning. to have you again. Thank you very much for having me. Why do I always think about Zoho when I hear Zoho? <laughs> <laughs> should be, should be bring, bringing us some drinks to drink. Well, maybe we'll consider that. Yeah, yeah that would be <laughs> okay. nice. All right, so we're talking about navigating the whole dollar inflation. I'm sure dollar inflation is... Um, it's crazy for a lot of businesses out there because yes. you try to buy one thing today and tomorrow you're going to replace that same product. And because of the dollar inflation, the price hike is ridiculous. Yes. So now let's talk about navigating, um, navigating this and using the right software for your business. So how does technology help in all of this? And then what kind of software should you be looking at that could you know, just help you a little bit? Fine, it might not be, it's not going to you know, reduce the price, right? Yeah. But it would just still help in a certain way. So just walk us through that. All right, thank you very much for having me again. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so when you talk about technology as a means to reduce the, or mitigate the effect of the dollar inflation, rate, inflation yeah. in Nigeria, uh, what I normally tell people is you have to look at, look out for three things when you are trying to select the right software. Okay. The first one is the security and privacy the provider have in place mm -hmm. so that you, when you're putting your data on that particular software, you are very sure that your business is secure. Yeah. Nobody's going to breach that contract or anything. The second one is the affordability, you know, because when you're using software, it, it tends to get expensive at some point, mm. you know. So how do you now manage that? You need to look at the cost. Number one. And then secondly, with the current uh, inflation rate in Nigeria and the dollar um, exchange rate, I will advise businesses to probably look for vendors that actually sell in local currency. Mm. Because, you know, $20, $5 is going to remain $5 from January to December. However, our own experience in Nigeria is that your $5 in January is not the same thing when you convert it to Naira in February or March. Mm -hmm. Two months ago, we didn't even know what's... I mean, maybe it was less than 1,000. Now it's about 1,030 or 1,400. Now imagine you have a budget in January. You will not be able to sustain your business yeah. through for the entire year with that budget if you're billing, you're being built in dollars. Mm -hmm. And if you're making your money in Naira, why are you paying in dollars? It's you always know? that question. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. And the third one is probably scalability because every business owner's dream is to grow your business. And at some point, you will get to a point whereby your business is grow and large enough. Is the current software you're trying to adopt, is it going, is, does it have the capability to scale with you? So you won't be faced with the issue of maybe moving out of that software and then embracing another one. And so it's going to be too stressful. So three things, uh, security and privacy, uh, the price factor, and the third one is scalability of that software. It will help businesses shape the way they do their business and also mitigate uh, the effect of this exchange rate inflation in Nigeria when you plan ahead properly. You're, you're sounding like a money doubler. <laughs> <laughs> no, because when the layman just hears that you have, you use the software, it will help you go through this, you know, you yeah. may not understand, it. Like, what is he talking about? That's why I said that. So what do these softwares actually do that will help you in this regard? Okay, fantastic. Um, I'm going to take about three departments for many business. I believe for every business owner, there are three core departments in your organization for you to scale. Yeah. The first one is your marketing. You want people to know what you're selling. The second one is your sales. After shouting about your brand, there must be somebody that will say, okay, you know, the price is too narrow. And the third one is finance. When the price is too narrow, how do you account for the money coming in? You know, so those are three major departments in any business. And look to any shop today, any small shop, big shop, they must have this thing in place. Maybe word of mouth, marketing. Now, how does software help you? Now, you can actually inculcate or try to bring software into your marketing department. Uh, we can probably go for social media marketing department. Digital marketing. Digital marketing, mm -hmm. right? Or you can even do e-marketing, email marketing. I believe in newsletters. I want, like, I believe in sending emails, regular emails to your clients, updating them about what you're doing, what is up next, what is going on with your business. So when they think of buying a particular product, the, the one that will drop in their mind is your brand. So digital marketing is very, very essential, and you will have tools to manage them. 
Currently, there are about seven to eight platforms for social media right now. Can you imagine you moving from one to the other one to the other one? But then, can you imagine what it's going to do for you when you have a platform that brings all of them together and you can actually see the report on the same dashboard? So that is the way you can manage that, number one. Secondly, for your sales, right? I believe that for sales, you need a CRM, and the CRM means Customer Relationship Management Software right so you want to have the database of your existing client at the same time you want to be able to nurture new leads and turn them to sales so when you have a crm that can automate this process for you it will reduce a whole lot of your stress sending emails scheduling meetings assigning these to other clients you know scheduling meetings to meet up showing them demos you know or even even sending them samples so you will be able to manage your entire sales process with a CRM tool. And finally, you need a finance application. So when, are you, when you're getting money, how much do you have outside? Who are you owing? Who is owing you? you know? So you get to see your profit and loss. You get to see your trial balance. You, know? you just want to be able to receive money and make payments easily. And also have a track record of your finances. And also, honestly, because as a small business or medium business, you will not be able to even access some grants from the government unless you have a complete bookkeeping of your business. Mm. They ask for that record. They even ask for um, your tax, you know, e your tax files. Clearance. So many. Yes. yes. So you won't be able to keep track of, track of that unless you have a software that you are using to do that. Imagine you going for your uh, audit and you are going with a pile of books. Okay, this one has not paid. But you have a software that will remind you. That will even send a reminder to your client that you have not paid Kenny. You have mm. to pay in two million or three million, you know. Mm. So you don't have to keep that in your head. You have your head clear, and you can think of how you can actually develop your business. So very important for you to have marketing, sales, and finance software to run your business. And all in all, you can also now incorporate maybe productivity tool, mm. right? So when you can allow your staff to work from home, mm. hybrid, remote job, right? Yeah. Remote job, hybrid, maybe two days at work, three days at home, or completely remote job. These days, you will be able to manage their productivity with every software they're using. Okay, so because that brings me to my next question, I think that kind of just segues into it because um, you've talked about you've talked about your finance, you've talked about marketing, you've talked about sales. I wanted to talk about um, human you resource yourself. as well. You know, are there softwares that actually help you know to to start for you to even know what your what your staff is doing to to actually measure their performances Fantastic. and the productivity. So are there softwares that could actually um, help with that? Because we can focus on, you know, sales and marketing. I mean, that's the, that's the um, lifeline of the business. That's the yes. blood of the business. You need money coming in or yes. else you are not in business. But you need human capital yes. for you to ensure that the money is coming in. Yes. So what, what, what softwares do you have to look out for when you need to measure their productivity? Fantastic. And um, even in my own organization, we have this saying there are people who say customers are always right mm. but i bet to differ i believe that when your employee is happy mm. they will make your customer happy mm -hmm. and then your customer will spend more happily mm -hmm. and your business will grow true you understand so yes these days we have software for example in my organization we have zoho people which is an human resource management software okay. so with that application you can mark the attendance mm. they can apply for leave they can do their appraisal cycle. They can do the performance index. They can do their KPI through the software. Through the software. They can even do peer-to-peer -peer review. So, you know, for example, manager is just a manager. Mm -hmm. You know, you cannot probably see or have personal relationship with everybody. But within the team itself, they know who is the go-to guy. Yeah. That, okay, for any problem, I should go to this guy. He was going to help me. But the manager might not see that. Maybe that guy is very quiet. But he's the backbone of the entire team. So when you allow your team members to rate them, so peer-to-peer -peer reviews, a lot of things you can do. Also, remote access. You want to see what they are doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, right now, if you're working remotely, you can check in from there. Then also, we have software that will even show you the live web, live cam. So if I'm sitting in front of my desk, they can actually see so what is around me. If I'm drinking, they can see it, you know. <laughs> so if you want to get to that level, there are software you can use. And, you know, <laughs> that was crazy. Yes, you know. But I think we've come to accept that way of life right now. And it's easier for people, you know. We are more productive. I can sleep on my bed, be there till five minutes to my meeting, just wear my jacket. Hi, good morning, everyone, you know. You can sleep, rest properly, and be more productive with your time.
Okay, um, I, I like homegrown solutions. Do we have homegrown solutions to all these ones, or it has to be imported technology? Oh, we have homegrown solutions. We have a couple of them in Nigeria. But also to import technology is not bad, mm -hmm. because um, if they are building in local currency, that is where we come in, mm -hmm. right? Because if the, uh, the company is mindful of the economy, they will try to relate with the local people. In my organization, we call something transnationalism. That is when we try to be present in the market we are currently engaging. So that is why our pricing is in local currency. Mm -hmm. We have um, indigenous people working for us. We employ a lot of people, empower them, and we do a lot of things. So yeah. home brand is really, really good because in the long run, it's going to help us build the economy. At the same time, we cannot dismiss the fact that we still need important technology to enhance whatever we have in mm -hmm. ours. Well, when you, sorry, when you talk about the fact that it can be expensive sometimes, the, yeah. a lot of people cannot relate because when you're talking about apps, you just think about going to Google Play Store. Free and <laughs> so what's the difference between these and the ordinary apps that we have? Okay, so the mobile app is just the social media platform. I mean, for example, just download on your mobile app and do. But when it comes to business application, this is where it gets serious. Because when you're doing business, it's a serious business. right? You Does want it to have be... to be tailored to you, to your business? Um, not necessarily. Okay. So if, uh, if I'm going to use my company, for example, we have um, a comprehensive suite of applications. Okay. And then when you approach us, what we do is we understand your need and then we now customize the software okay. to fit that so that's purpose. So it's kind of tailored, tailored yeah. to your needs. So you can customize it. So okay. it's not like one size fits all because everybody can be in the same line of business, but their processes mm. might be different. You okay. know, so you can customize so the system. Flexible. Flexibility, exactly. Okay. That's good. Exactly. And then the cost is not so much because most times when people think technology, you they think you know. But but you know, uh, compared to what you're going to lose if you don't have it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But but the truth is, even the cost is not expensive. Trust me. If I'm talking about from my own company, because that is one thing about Nigerian market that is enticing to us, we try to actually relate with the people. So the cost is nominal compared to what you will pay. You're mm. probably paying about 50 to 40 percent less than mm. what you will pay our counterparts. Interesting. You know? All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. This is where we have to wrap it up, sadly. But, you know, we'll just come back in and just take a deep dive on all of this whole technology thing. No. But, yes, thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you for you. having we really, me. We really appreciate you. All right. We've been speaking with um, our guy from Zoro. We're just talking about navigating the dollar inflation with the right software for your business. He always says, pay Kenny. <laughs> he, can it two million naira. He, can it. he said it last time he said it out there yeah. but I, i'm sure everybody else will also want to be paid you yeah know, that's why we're talking about this no matter how small your business is there's yeah. a possibility you can grow all right that. we'll be speaking to our guy kainde Ogundari, the country manager from zoho nigeria so i want to say thank you once mm. again thank and you and this is where we wrap it up on the show today we have to go mm -hmm. mm. but we'll see you again tomorrow my name is rume paulson and i am nyam Gul. Let's return tomorrow for another edition. Bye for now. All right.